All right, let's take a look at Apple Schoolwork. So when you open up Apple Schoolwork, you've got your class. Mine is called Cooper Test. Yours will be called something probably normal. Um, this is all set up and configured by ETS on the back end. And what we do in Google School, or sorry, Apple Schoolwork is we make handouts. So I'm going to create a new handout, and it gives me some options here as I'm filling it out. So my handout name, I think I'm going to find it easiest if I put the date on there. So this is going to be the day of the week to help out my kiddos. Tuesday, January 19th. All right, due date. Um, let's see about that. Uh, let's say it'll be due January 20th. We even the same day, 19th. We'll see. Up to you. Okay, now we need to give our students some instructions on what we want them to do with this handout. So, um, you know, I could have like a little ubiquitous opening here. Good morning, students, blah, 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 blah. Or I can just start giving them a list. All right. One, I need you to read your assigned book in uh, Raz Kids. Kids? Kids? Who knows? All right. So in order to do that, I'm then going to send them off to that app. So I'm going to add an app activity. It's going to bring up my list here. Now, on some, you can go straight there. So, for instance, I could look for the Learning A to Z app or Kids A to Z app and add it there, but that might give them some pause. So, instead, what I want to do, clever, and in fact, I'm going to change that for them. I'm going to say, log in with clever, all right? Two, um, I'm going to need you to go and do your writing journal, and I've provided a template. So I'm going to say, write today's journal entry on the template, whatever your class um, procedures are. But now I want to add that template for them. So I'm going to go to Files, and I'm going to find this document that I already made, right? It's in Pages, so it's going to take them to the Pages app, and it's going to take them right to that journal. It's an editable copy, just like in Google Classroom or other LMSs, you can decide if you want to give each student a copy, collaborate together on the same file, or just a flat static thing. It's just something for them to look at. I'm going to choose each student can edit their own file. Okay, now back up to my instructions here. Next, um, how about uh, do today's assigned activity on Khan Academy? Now, Khan Academy is an app that I want to add there for them, so I go to my app activities, I find Khan. All right, and boom, it's going to add it to their list right there. Um, 3A. <laughs> How about uh, when finished with con, work for 15 minutes in Dreambox. Now this is another one that I have found out through trial and error that um, because they log into Dreambox through Clever, what you want to do is instead of going and adding straight to Dreambox, you want to actually send them to Clever. And whenever I catch myself doing that, I want to make sure that I let them know log in with Clever. Your mileage may vary on that. If your students are able to log straight into those apps, you can add those apps straight to the handout, but I'm pretty sure for a couple of those they need to log in with Clever, so that's what we'll do. For uh, go through the, this way I can show adding app, go through the science Nearpod. It's a matter, and then I could give them the code that they'll need when they go through it. All right, and then of course that's an app activity, so I'm going to add Nearpod to their list. Okay, so I've given them the four things to do, and I've given them links to do that. So now we're going to publish that. Oh, something I probably should have gone over. If you, on the to section right there, you can edit who gets this. 
let's open this back up and then let's take a look in the two section when I click on that right now it's set to give it to my entire class my class only has one student you will have um, a big list here and because we're talking about a hybrid model probably only a half of your students are going to be with you or are going to need to do this assignment because the other half are going to be with you doing um, activities that you can class that they can't do independently. So instead of that, you can go down here and you can check which students are going to be given this handout. Okay, just wanted to show that. Let's go and publish that again. All right, so on my teacher dashboard, I can open up that handout and I can see how they're doing. So I can see my student progress. Uh, Rob Cooper here is not done, not logged into Clever. He is not done his writing assignment. He has not gone to Khan Academy and he has not gone to Nearpod. Let's see if we can change that. Let's go look at the student perspective. All right, so let's take a look at Apple Schoolwork from the student perspective. So I'm a student and I'm gonna click on my class and here's my handout for Tuesday, January 19th. And I need to open that up and get started. So it tells me right up here all of my little to-do list, all the directions that I have. So read your assigned book and RAS kids, log in with Clever. Okay, so I'm gonna have to click down here on Start to Clever. All right, once I'm in Clever, I'm gonna go Learning A to Z. And I have finished my book, so as a student, I can say, I did that, I want to mark it as done. All right, so we mark that as done, and because I have um, four assignments he marked here, I'm 25% complete. All right, next I need to do my writing assignment. So I'm going to click here on my writing assignment, and it's going to give me the option to open up this template. All right, so here we go. I can start editing my document as a student. I'm get rid of the... All right, and finish up. Then when I'm ready, I can hit submit because uh, Pages knows that this came from a Apple Schoolwork assignment. So I can let my teacher know when it is ready. All right, let's go back to schoolwork. All right, so it's thinking about that. Now I went and I entered, uh, I did today's entry so I can mark that as done. Boom, all right, I'm halfway there. I've got to go do my Khan Academy. So I'm gonna click on Khan Academy, I'm gonna go start. It's gonna open the app right up for me and pick up right where I left off. So up next for you. So now, if I go back to schoolwork, I can say, all right, Khan Academy, I did my assignment, now I'm going to mark as done. Now this is where I have to be a pretty responsible student because down here I'm working on this app list, but remember my next assignment was not on the app list. 3A, when finished with Khan, work for 15 minutes on Dreambox, log in with Clever. So, mm, I gotta be, I gotta be on my game if I wanna get everything done. So I'm going to go back to Clever. All right, let's see how Apple Schoolwork work like that. Now I've got my last thing to do, which is my Nearpod lesson. So I'm gonna click on Nearpod and start, and it'll open that app right there. Okay, and as a student, it's gonna ask me to put in my code and I can get started with my student pace lesson right away. Once I'm finished with that, I can mark as done. And as far as I'm concerned, on the student side, I have done what my teacher asked me to do, 100% complete. Now let's go back to the teacher version and take a look at what that looks like. 
All right, so now we're back in teacher mode and we're going to look at this handout. And sure enough, I can see my one student, he marked everything as complete. I can see uh, the time that he spent on here. Of course, that looks different when there's more students, right? And you kind of get that comparison view. But if I want, I can go through and I can look at these things, especially the writing is something I might want to look at. So I click over there and I can see if I tap on students writing which will take me out to pages I can look at it I can read it I can make sure everything's cool I could even grade it and put something in canvas if I wanted to go back to schoolwork here right so that is how handouts work with Apple schoolwork